the Del Mar Delight Small Town Series Ocean View. It, no, you, your eyes are not fooling you because, yes, we're in historic Studio D. The reason for that is Katie and Leah are doing the heavy lifting today. That's right. We've been we've been doing push-ups, <laughs> yeah. prepping, uh -huh. squats, right. everything to get ready for this. <laughs> Most have worked out in ages. Yes, ex <laughs> exactly. <laughs> we're gonna do. We're gonna take you guys to Ocean View. We're gonna go to Ocean View, and we're gonna show you guys all the amazing stuff going on there. It's you know, shopping. It's here's the thing about Ocean View. It is a little town with so much going on, and yeah. the nice thing is everything's right there. Shopping, food, fun, bing, bang, boom. So we got you covered. We'll do the exploring for you today. Okay. Yeah. So you guys just sit here. Make yourself. Do you feel comfortable? Do you feel I'm at home? Good. I'm good. good. Right. Yeah. 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 So you kick yeah. back, relax. Can you? Uh, good if we? Yeah. Head out. Ready to go? All right. You I think we're ready. Yeah. This was great. This was good family time. And, uh, we're gonna head out now. Nice seeing you. Yeah. Good time. Safe trip. Right. Right. Yeah. Watch out for here. Yep. We will definitely. Okay. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Fasten your seatbelts. We'll do. We won't. We won't. We'll drive the speed limit. Road we'll trip. Road trip, road trip, road trip, road trip, road trip, road trip, road trip. Oh, this is gonna be awesome. We got snacks. Snacks are in the car. All right, I'll drive. You can drive. I'll That's DJ. Okay. Oh my gosh, Bert, you are the DJ. I know. Oh my I got goodness. the music covered. I'm ready to jam. This is gonna be so amazing. Oh my gosh. See, what else? And we're gonna get fired up. And then we're gonna be in Ocean View, and it's gonna be even better because we'll be there. Yes. Have you been there that much? A little bit here and there. We can yeah. do some shopping. Do some shopping. Any snacks we didn't get before, we can we'll get, get there. there. Um, there's a gym, so I think maybe I'll work out a little bit. Why okay, not? yeah, I'll, I'll cheer you on. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, hey, uh, Jason, you, do you want to come to Ocean View with us? Or? I'd love to, but I'm a little busy. Sorry. Oh, oh shoot. That's okay. Sorry. That's fine. I'm not offended at all. You stay here. We'll, we we we'll will. Thank Jimmy you. Jimmy Lisa. Perfect. All right. <laughs> All right, the van's out here, ready to go. She looks amazing. Well, that's because we got her washed the other day, so we're back. <laughs> Cooper, thank you for those keys. All right, let's get in here. It's a great day for a drive. A lovely day for a drive. Yeah, so that works for us. All right, so we're gonna get driving. Buckle it right up here, and Jimmy and Lisa, while we uh, get going here, we're gonna let you guys expand on why this Sussex County town is so popular. And they're off. But uh, seriously, how much time have you got? Because listen, this is gonna be hard to fit in all of the reasons that make Ocean View so downright darling. And we're going to start with the root of one of Delmarva's many claims to fame, chicken. Ocean View is credited as the birthplace of the broiler industry on Delmarva, and we all know how that played out. And the backstory is pretty wild. It was 1923 when Mrs. Cecilia Steele ordered 50 chicks. Now, instead of 50, she received 500, and the rest is history. How about that? And Lisa, I know you have been to this replica of a chicken house in Ocean View. Uh, it's just like the one Mrs. Steele used to raise the first flock of commercial broiler fryer chickens. Yeah. The beginning of an industry, one that I'm sure uh, Arthur W. Purdue was excited about. Right? Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> so, uh, now to the name. Ocean View. Was it always called that? Nope. In the beginning, it was called Hall's Store. Go ahead, take a wild shot. Guess why. Okay, I'm gonna go out on a limb and guess that it has something to do with a store named after a, um, I don't know, Mr. Hall? That was a pretty sturdy limb you went out on there. You're exactly <laughs> right. As a matter of fact, it was a general store that was opened uh, by a Mr. W.S. Hall just after 1800. The village surrounding the store was called Hall's Store. So how did Hall's Store turn into Ocean View? Well, here's the deal. After the Civil War, interest in the nearby beaches increased. And as the story goes, the name was then changed to Ocean View because the ocean could be seen from, well, the second floor windows of the houses in town. Hence, Ocean View. Makes sense. Now, it might be a bit harder to see the ocean from the homes in Ocean View these days, but you can still see the Indian River Bay. Yeah, and how about that through the I magic of TV? <laughs> That's where Katie and Leah are right now. That's right, Jimmy and Lisa. Here we are. TV magic. I love it. And can we um, just stop here and look at this view? It's amazing. It is insane. We've got the Indian River Inlet Bridge right there. Love a good bridge. Over the Indian River Bay. Yeah, so you, <laughs> time could just stop here. Absolutely. Right? I'm just taking it all in. Taking it all in. I wonder if um, our videographer, Joe Cooper, lives in this area, so I wonder if I can see his house. No, you can't see no, his house. Okay. Gonna know. All right. It was a good idea. It was <laughs> a sure. What I can see 
is the Mason Dixon VFW Post 7234. So, of course, thank you to everybody for your service. Love those members. Absolutely. And another great place to check out is the Tunnel West House. Yeah, Lisa, you've been there. I sure have, and it is gorgeous. Much of the house has been well preserved from the time it was built during the la later years of 1800. The man who built it didn't actually live in it. His daughter, Eliza Ann Tunnel, and her husband, George West, did, hence the Tunnel West house. And Jimmy, get this. When uh, Eliza and George's daughter grew up, George built her a post office to work in, which can be found behind the house, or behind the Tunnel West house. Now, all of this is part of the Ocean View Historical Society's complex. In 2012, the Tunnel West house was placed on the National Registry of Historic Places. Uh, today, it serves as a museum complete with artifacts dating back to the Victorian era. We've got to talk about the park, Lisa, right? Yeah, got to yeah. talk about the park and the playground. You've got your typical playground with swings and such. In Ocean View, it is next level. So you know <laughs> Katie and Leah made their way, way there. Yes. That's right, guys. Check out this park. What do you think about this? I love it. Of course, we found the swings. We found the swings, and they are amazing. When was the last time you were on a swing? I don't even know. I feel like a kid again. I know. You know? Hey, do you want to see who can go higher? Oh, yeah. Let's see. I think it's going to be me. I think it's going to be me. I don't know. I've been working out. Guys, we still got a show to do. Oh, oh we yeah. do. We do have that. OK. Yeah. I guess we can, uh, let's jump off and make a plan. Let's do it. <laughs> All right, game plan time. Ready? Ready. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to check out Ocean View Jewelers. Mm -hmm. Family-owned jewelry company. See what they've got that uh, sparkles and shines. Mm -hmm. I'm also going to check out the styles at Water Lily. Fun clothing store. You never know what's going to be there. Speaking of some fun clothing stores, I'm going to check out Crazy Ladies. I have some crazy ladies in my life. Well, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, you know, you got to decorate your house as well, so I think I'm going to check out Coastal Cottage. Ooh, that sounds like a good time, okay? And there's a gym here that's amazing, so Ooh. I'm going to do, I'm going to go try to get to get a little bit buff at Custom Fit 360. They do, like, personalized programs for you, so we'll see what happens there. Then, after I work out, I feel like I've earned a nice meal. Absolutely. So we're going to go to the cafe on 26, which is, you know, boutique dining. So nice little I'll meet you there. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. All right, you ready? I'm ready. We're going to slide into this Ocean View show real quick. I'm ready. Three, two, one. Ocean View! Ocean View. <laughs> Del Mar for Life is brought to you by Tidal Health. Better together, less duplication, more collaboration. The law offices of Tunnel and Razor. Spicer Brothers Construction, Gateway Subaru, and a and A Company. All right, Leah, question. Uh huh. Have you ever been stand up paddle boarding? No, but I've always wanted to. Okay, so I went last November with mm -hmm. Lily Aller. Mm -hmm. She's incredible. She owns Water Lily in both Bethany Beach and here in Ocean View. What? She's got like an effervescent essence about her, and she brings that to her clothing stores. Love it. Yeah, so I've been to the one in Bethany Beach. And now we're going to check out this one in Ocean View. So you want to just drop me off? Uh, sure, yeah. Here, All right. let me throw it in park. Yeah, sounds good. And I'll, uh, I'll go see her and let you know how we do. All righty. All right. I'll see you later. All right, bye. <laughs> Water Lily founder and owner Lily Aller exudes an enthusiasm many might consider epic. Hey, everybody. It's Woo! Tuesday. She's filled with so much fervor, in fact, it can't fit into one clothing store. This spirited soul opened Water Lily in Bethany Beach a few years ago and last year unveiled a new location in Ocean View, hoping to share more sides of herself with local ladies. If you ask me that question, what is Water Lily? Or, um, well, it's eclectic, and I don't even know, you know? It's like, it's my home, it's me, it's my different temperaments. But pandemic problems, the world shut down before anyone could come into this new spot and shop. Oh my gosh, what are we gonna do now? So that's our, our story for this one. So we did, we had to be very creative to let the people know that we were here. That time since they did. You. Oh my gosh, girls, come on over. Oh! Hey, Hi, Jack. 
They started strutting their stuff live on Facebook to show off their selection of styles. Yeah, but we got some leggings, and you got some cool leggings and sweaters. It's sweater weather. Yes. Where did the summer go? These Facebook fashion shows have been a hit ever since, and they now happen regularly. Those who tune in could never guess what clothing's about to come out. With Water Lily, expect the unexpected. Yes, there's the staples at both stores, you know, the things that everyone comes, oh, you have the joggers, you know, and um, they're so popular. But then I throw in things, curveballs that like, oh, what is that? Oh my gosh. Um, to keep them talking, to keep them fresh in their memories for Water Lily. And here at the Ocean View store, there's a lot to talk about. It's definitely one of my personalities, you know, my other me's but what I tell people is they come in and their eyes start looking everywhere I'm like okay you're gonna go and look around because there's art there's antique cues, you know that we I like to pick and then there's clothes and you can't the ladies can't focus talking to me so like go shop and then we'll talk later looking around everything's going on everywhere and there's a reason for that and that's how my life is. You know, I love style, but I'm not set on the rules, you know, and that's how this store is. You walk in and it's kind of like my home. Mm -hmm. um, it's uh, pieces that I've curated when we travel and, okay, this looks here. I just got this vintage stove that's in here. It's epic. It's beautiful, baby blue. I mean, I fought for it at the auction, but when they come here, it reminds them of those yesteryears. Oh my gosh, my grandmother had this, or we used to have this in Bethany, or, and that inspires me to buy more of things that will make people laugh and remember those good old days. And sometimes her purchases surprise even her. This came in, I'm like, oh my gosh, did I really buy that? I love it! Yeah. Well, how about the lady that wanted the illusion pants and she asked me to take a picture of them? Yeah. Uh, how many was, did she, she take? She bought 15 pants. Oh, my God. She brought her friends over from Mahoba. Lily and the ladies have a way of thrusting <laughs> yeah, you out of yeah, your yeah, comfort zone and today. into yeah. something electric. We have a special model. Oh, I, my gosh. Yes. You're not going to believe who's with us. It's Katie from Delmarva. Live! Oh, <laughs> oh, did somebody call yeah. for me? Yeah. Hey! Oh! These leggings are super cozy. This shirt, I mean, this is cozy. You're and we're with Pam! Hey, Pam! <laughs> Those who don't feel at all like fashionistas might before they leave. We're not sharks. <laughs> Come on in, girl. We are not. Oh my gosh, we're going to embrace you. The girls welcome you. They'll they are not going to, you know, overwhelm you. There's so much to see in here. You can't, you you have to really soak it up. And you can't come in here with 5 minutes because you're going to be late. <laughs> I think this really makes the outfit a touchdown. <laughs> Lily adores her longtime patrons and her newbies. Every day we get people, oh, we see your mannequins outside, but we just never did it. And okay, this is our, we're going to do it today. And I'm like, wow, that's so awesome. Thank you Ooh, so thank much. You. <laughs> cool. go. Oh. <laughs> Scoring style and so much more. Wish I could have kept that outfit on because that was awesome, but I loved trying it on while I did, kind of being a little bit of a model. And what's cool about it here at Water Lily is I feel the freedom to try on clothes that I might not even think to pick out normally. All right, well, coming up next, Leah is down at the Coastal Cottage. She's doing some shopping. So Del Marva Life's small town series, Ocean View. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Del Marva Life Small Town Series in Ocean View. We've had so much fun exploring the town so far, and the fun continues at Coastal Cottage. Picture yourself on this beautiful wicker patio set, entertaining friends, family, and you'll find this, as well as many other pieces of furniture and adorable gifts, at Coastal Cottage. There's no shortage of charm in the small town of Ocean View, Delaware, and the foundation of that charm is seeing members of the community support the community as local business owners. Beth Rogers charms us with her business, Coastal Cottage. My mother and stepfather started it back in 1985 when we were just, a, it was a rental unit for them on the property. And they decided, hey, we need a small store in Ocean View. So they went ahead and 
started Country Wicker. We had a lot of wicker furniture and gifts, and then we've just now brought it into what it is today. We've just changed with the times. When it comes to making your house a home with unique quality pieces, there are many reasons to pick Coastal Cottage. I think it's the service for one. I think we give awesome service and we're more of a family. It's family oriented. It's kind of a modern mom pop store, I'll say. And it's right outside your back door again. Shop local. And we offer quite a bit of different things. So this way it gives everyone options for fine gifts, furniture all of that. Well, you'll spend plenty of time exploring all the fun pieces and gifts and getting to know the amazing and friendly staff. Coastal Cottage does have a few specialties as well. Definitely cater to coastal living. It's definitely more of a coastal look here, but we also offer a lot of other things as well that can mix into all kinds of decor. We have tons of pillows. We specialize in outdoor furniture along with outdoor pillows. So that's probably our specialty. Now that we've heard a little bit about of the types of things Coastal Cottage carries, let's take a look at some of the things that make it truly unique. Now, the first thing when you walk in here is you notice all the amazing things that you guys have. And one thing I immediately fell in love with was the furniture. So you've got some, some fabrics here. Um, how do you apply these? Are these furniture? Are they pillows? What's going on with the fabrics? Well, we first find out what kind of furniture that you like and you mm -hmm. go from there and find out what your decor is like. You can choose all of your fabrics, anything that you want. We've got tons to choose from and we try to save you money where we can too, depending upon the size of your furniture. So this is fabrics for our furniture that we sell, but we also do custom cushions. So if you have furniture that you didn't purchase from us, you get the measurements and we can help you, guide you to the right cushion for your furniture. I love that. So how do people go about getting custom cushions? Do they? They bring in their measurements. We need good measurements and we have pamphlets we can share to share with them how to make good measurements for their furniture because it's a, it's an investment. We want it to it's be right daunting, for them. Yeah. <laughs> it is a little daunting. Yes, it is. So just a lot of fun stuff. Candles and clothing. I was and obsessed with all the candles. And what's there there's something unique about the candles as well, right? We had them made for us, yes. So it. we created our own scents and created the, the name along with the scent. So it brings a little bit of the beach into your home and personalized. Yeah. Here in, in Bethany well, and exactly. Ocean View. You can't get them anywhere else. You can't get them anywhere else. So whether you live in Ocean View, are planning your next girl's trip, or are just passing through, make plans to stop and shop at Coastal Cottage for furniture, accessories, unique gifts, and so much more. And a huge thank you to Beth and her incredible team for showing us such a unique selection of furniture and gifts all at Coastal Cottage. Katie and I have some more exploring to do, so Del Marva Life Small Town Series Ocean View will be right back. Time to talk fancy and family. We are headed to Ocean View Jewelers. And if you've checked out the sparkly stuff here before, you might remember this spot in a different location. They actually moved to this building on Atlantic Ave earlier this year. New space, same stellar service. Let's head in. We're able to spread out a little bit more and it services our clients better as well. And service over sales is what Alessandra Mauser's father, Ruben, wanted for his business from the beginning. That was my dad's vision when he opened it. That vision turned reality is called Ocean View Jewelers, an operation built from a heart to help with any and all jewelry needs and one that shines because of the tight team behind it. We're a small family run business and we love what we do. We're very passionate about jewelry and everything about it. They do jewelry repair, remounting, sizing, custom work, sales, and pretty much anything else that might come up. Alessandra is one of the owners. She says each member of the fam has specific strengths that help this place succeed. My father is much more of the visionary. He loves to run out ahead and, you know, make dreams become reality. I'm more of the due diligence, so I run behind him and say, okay, let's make sure we can do it. And then Sergio's more of the operations. He likes to make sure that if we're doing it, everything's working efficiently. She herself has been smitten with stones ever since she was a little girl. Jewelry's always been a part of my life and I always loved it. I've always been intrigued by it, so I love what I do. I get to come to work and work with beautiful pieces all the time. And those pieces become part of a story. 
I think it's so much fun to be a part of the engagement wedding process. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, one, what girl doesn't love weddings? But two, we just love our process for picking out engagement rings. Mm -hmm. Sergio allows them to shop for their diamond and handpick their diamond. In those cases, it's brand new. In other cases, it's taking a piece that was once new and giving it a sort of rebirth. We take old pieces and we recreate them into something new, keeps and holds that sentimental memory, but allows the person wearing it to enjoy what they're wearing. And those transformed treasures evoke emotions. When they see it, it's tears to their eyes. Ocean View Jewelers has been around since 2017, though Ruben was tackling the trade long before that. As the industry has developed through the years, so has the technology. There are ancient techniques that my dad has used all his life, and now we are replacing those techniques with state-of-the-art equipment. We're back here now with the fancy schmancy laser engraving machine. I'm about to make a necklace for myself. Kind of, kind of excited about that. Yeah. Alessandro is going to show me uh, this very. I know I have a lot to do, right, in this process. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yep. So we have all the parameters set up here. Mm -hmm. So you're going to hit enter. Yep. And now you're going to hit enter again. Go past that danger sign. No danger. Everything's good. And if there, do you hear it? Yes, here we go. <laughs> <gasps> Done. Ooh. <gasps> Look at my name. <laughs> I might be waltzing out with a new necklace, but Alessandra says when it comes to her own jewelry, earrings are essential. If I leave the house, I have to have earrings on. Whether it's earrings, necklaces, bracelets, or rings, what they've got in their display cases feels like it's been hand-picked. And that's because it has. We are very intentional about the items that we put into our cases. We listen to our clients and we pay very close attention to our numbers as well. We put into our cases what our clients want. And if a person comes in with an unwavering price point, no problem. We have people come in with budgets all the time. We tend to ask them right up front what their budget is, so that way we can help them more efficiently. Folks, of course, will come in with all kinds of different desires. Alessandra's hope is they all leave the same way. I want you to feel like you, you just made a new friend. A new friend that's excited to have you as part of the family. So many eye-catching pieces in there. I also asked Alessandra what she loves most about Ocean View, and she said the closeness of the community. And hey, speaking of close, crazy ladies just up the road fuses fashion and fun, and Leah's there next. We'll be right back. And Delmarva Life Small Town Series in Ocean View is back. It's been a crazy day. We've been to some great places, and speaking of crazy, I'm here at Crazy Ladies with Jan Patterson. Hi, how are you? I'm terrific, thank you. Now, as soon as I walked into the store, I mean, it's bright, it's fun. Tell me about Crazy Ladies a little bit. Well, we're a boutique. We've been here in the Ocean View area for about eight years, and we carry an array of things, clothing, yes. handbags, shoes, accessories. Uh, we're here, we carry from size extra small all the way up to a 3X lady. What are some of your favorite things within the store? Well, one of the things we uh, love to have is clothing that has a lot of mileage. So <laughs> we have a lot of clothing that you really actually can wear a number of different ways. So, and that kind of makes us a little bit unique. Uh, for instance, it. I'm wearing a dress, although I won't show it to the public, but you know, you can wear this 10 different ways, this dress. People have worn this to a special occasion or they've worn it over a bathing suit. And it's just amazing all the different things that you could do with it. So people enjoy coming here because they like different. I think so. And I think it's also, they. I, I'm sure you guys are so sweet. As soon as you walk in, you get greeted, you get offered coffee. I was like, oh, wow. Yeah, <laughs> and wait till later, we offer wine. I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> um, what would you say, what does Crazy Ladies mean to you? Where did the name come from? Well, Crazy Ladies is um, a happy place. Everybody has a little bit of crazy in them, and it is very enjoyable to be in a woman's world. They love our music, they dance. Um, we're definitely on the destination map. Now, along with clothes, 
shoes, all kinds of accessories, jewelry. You guys have so much fun jewelry. I was playing in the rings over there. Where do uh, where do all these pieces come from? Yeah, a lot of people, they love our accessories because they really are different. And they uh, are, well, our jewelry uh, is made up by a number of different artisans, really, from all over the United States, uh, and even a few locally as well. So we have from high-end, uh, designer jewelry and some pieces made specifically for us. You can also kind of accessorize homes with gifts and stuff. What else do you carry? Oh, we carry a fun and crazy line of greeting cards. In fact, even when men come in the store and they read them, they're laughing. They're laughing it up. <laughs> yes, and then we carry a line of tea towels that make wonderful gifts to give to ladies. And, uh, and then we carry these beaded club bags that have been extremely popular, uh, especially during COVID. You can just be totally hands-free, but it's just kind of a fun little bag to, to put just your essentials in that have worked out really well. And you can't really get those anywhere else. No, we have sold almost a thousand of them. Yes. It's incredible. Yes. And everything in here really is so unique. And something else that you mentioned that I thought was pretty unique was you guys did a fundraising trip. Tell me a little bit about that. So every year, Crazy Ladies picks a local charity. And, um, and we make sure that the money stays here on the Eastern Shore. But we do a Crazy Ladies trip. So it's a bunch of adults. Uh, still being children. That's <laughs> what I like to hear. You know, you never never have to grow up. No. And it gets to benefit charities here yes. right at home. Yes. Now, this isn't the first time you've been in a business setting. No. No, <laughs> not at all. I don't think I'll be retiring. <laughs> no. Um, tell me a little bit about your, your business history. How did you get to Crazy Ladies? Well, Crazy Ladies just started really as a pimple. It was just a hobby. Mm -hmm. And um, when I moved to the Eastern Shore, what we heard was, you know, we need, a, we need a store here, we need a store here, we need a store here. So uh, my business partner and I, we looked around and we thought, geez, is this something we really want to do? Because we had been working in the recruiting field in the Washington, D.C. area. And we said, you know, this will just be a real kit. So we built it, and they came. They and sure did. <laughs> yes, and it has been, we have had a crazy time. It's been a fun journey. It's been wonderful. How exciting. Yes. And um, you really thrive on your customer service. Why is customer service so important to you? Because it is so lacking today everywhere else. It, it's the one thing that people, I think, really appreciate. People want to be recognized. Mm -hmm. People like to be acknowledged. You know, it's like the last uh, place that you can reach, it and touch, reach out and touch someone. It's so important to us. It is important, and it shows. I mean, I think, you, the, again, the, the warm welcome to all the care that you've put into all your products. It's just, oh, thank I've you. had a great time in the short amount of time that I've been in here. Yes, it <laughs> won't take you long to get crazy. You know? <laughs> well, thank you so much for having me. Delmarva Life Small Town Series and Ocean View. We've already seen a lot of great places. We've got more to go, and we'll be right back. We said it at the beginning of the show. Ocean View is a small town with a lot going on. Fashion, fun, how about fitness? This place here, though, isn't your average gym. Custom Fit 360 offers personalized programs so folks can set their own goals and then smash them. One, two. One, two, one, two. Here Punching. Inhale here. Exhale. Pulling. We got three, two. Pushing. One. It's options overload at Custom Fit 360. This gym is jam-packed with equipment so people can get pumped about making progress. It's customized fitness, and the 360 means incorporating all different aspects of fitness and wellness. Eric Schreiber got the shot. place going in 2016 no. and shot. moved to this location no. on you Atlantic Ave two years later. For the last six years, he and the rest of the training team have motivated many through their motto, yes, you can. A lot of people think that they can't and they want it. They do. They don't want to feel tired. They don't want to have pain. They don't want to be overweight. They don't want, but they they need help. And it's not necessarily um, the knowing what to do, as well as the accountability, the community, and the partnership that you get from having a trainer and from just being here in general. They've got personal training, group training, nutrition, and they're starting wellness programs. It all begins with a sit-down chat between client and professional. 
They'll discuss health background, injuries, working out likes and dislikes, what's been successful in the past and what hasn't, and then these guys will design a program based on that info. We're going to push you outside of your comfort zone, for sure, because that's the only way to progress. But never are you going to hear us yelling, come on! Ah! Um, you know, we're, we're a little more even keeled than that. Try to get the floor. Try to get yeah. the floor. Yes. Push it, push it, and relax. They have 10 trainers total, but the support here extends far beyond loading and lifting. Carmel Monfaletto has the nutrition knowledge clients need. My program, I like to call it all you can eat because I want to show you all you can eat. I don't operate off a sense of deprivation. You're not allowed to have this. You're not allowed to have that. Um, I believe in moderation. Carmel says people tend to approach her with apprehension, but she says it's not necessary. She's not handing out an unattainable, one-size-fits-all diet plan. I work with each client individually, sit with them, put a meal plan together for them based on their needs after, you know, estimating about where they should be in terms of calories, protein, fat, carbohydrate. But the biggest piece that we offer our clients that I, I think really sets us apart is the mindset. Mm -hmm. We really work with them as to, you know, why do you want to do this? What is your goal? What, what is really going to keep you motivated when times get tough? Because staying motivated means moving forward. Maybe even getting to say, boom. I didn't know what hashtag was. I didn't know what hashtag meant. And I was always saying, boom. So if you accomplish something, Katie, I'd be like, boom. You know, let's get it. Let's rock. Yes, you can. Let's go. Boom, 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 all the time. And somebody said something about, oh, you should hashtag that on Instagram. And I was like, what are you talking about? What is a hashtag? Mm -hmm. So that's, that's how it kind of came to be. It was hashtag, boom. Uh, and now I hashtag everything. Because Love it. you can. Hashtag yes you can. That's amazing. People's reasons for saying hashtag boom can be completely different. I said, what is your primary goal? And he said, I want to be able to lift my grandchild up and put him on my lap when I drive the boat. And the first time he told me that he accomplished that, I cried. Laura Mitchell wanted something specific. Because I'm trying to work on the booty. That was my number one goal coming in here. She got that and so much more. I've built, I feel like a lot of muscle, lost a lot of fat, like I've, my, bo my whole body's changed. Really? Mm -hmm. That's amazing. And a huge part of it was my mental health, like I didn't like the way I looked or felt. Coming here was a huge improvement for me. This award-winning crew keeps injury prevention at the forefront of what they do. Eric says interested individuals should simply go for it. What is it that's holding you back? I mean, first of all, yes, you can. You just have to decide what is it that's holding you back. Is it monetary? Okay, I can understand that. We have options for everybody. Um, is it fear-based? Don't worry. I got you. She's got you. We're, we're all here to help you. Um, lack of confidence in terms of being able to accomplish your goals. We set very small, very specific goals so that doesn't become a problem. Keep working, keep working. Time! Excellent. There's your circuit. Nailed it! Sit. Love the energy in there. Okay, I'll tell you what. Uh, those ropes, that assault bike, none of that was super easy, but I'm glad I tried it, and you can too. Boom! Jimmy Lisa, what do you think about that? Oh my goodness. Uh... <laughs> wow. No pain, no gain, right? No pain, no gain. Yeah, good mm -hmm. point. All right. You know, they've got a, a boot camp class coming up on Saturday the 30th at 9 a.m. Halloween costumes encouraged. Imagine doing that in a Halloween oh, yeah. costume. Proceeds go to Breast Cancer Research Foundation. Del Marble Life's Small Town Series Ocean View will be right back. Well, we are nearing the end of our exploration of the town of Ocean View, but we think we have picked the perfect place to unwind. Yes, the Cafe on 26 opened back in 2010 and is considered a premier boutique restaurant offering fresh, seasonal, local cuisine. That's right. It's really an incredible blend of deluxe dishes and a relaxing atmosphere. One restaurant, five stars. 
Over the last 11 years, the cafe on 26 has been feeding folks the finest meals filled with fresh local flavor. We fillet our own fish. We get our beef in whole. We cut our own steaks, trim our own meat. We, we use all our scraps to make our beef base, our fish stock, our veggie base. Executive chef and owner Maria Frazier says her skills in the kitchen came kind of organically. I'm a mom chef. I was never schooled chef. Love to cook. And then when I opened the restaurant, I did have our chef Jason Bostaff, who is, went to the culinary school, was trained, and he taught me. She and chef Jason Bostaff take pride in a delicious menu that changes daily. We have our five or six prominent dishes that they won't let us get rid of and our signature dish. And But we change our menu, we print it every day. We can't mention that signature dish without showing it to you. Check it out. Potato Parmesan encrusted salmon. We developed this dish Gosh, right, right at the beginning, probably almost 10 really? years ago. Yeah. And what do you think it is that people love about it so much? Um, it's it's delicious. It's unique. I mean, I've had potato encrusted fish before, but I think we pair it with the East Coast jumbo lump and uh, yeah. fresh herbs and stuff. So it's just, wow. it's, a, it's a nice dish. It's filling. We've turned a lot of non-salmon lovers into salmon lovers with this dish. Look at that. That's how it comes out, nice and golden. Yep. Wow. Please. You know it's going to be good when you can smell it through the mask. <laughs> That's you <know>? true. <laughs> I say that a lot, actually. I'm always surprised. Wow. And then we give it our nice jumbo lump sauce. I am so excited to give this a go. I'm a big salmon girl. I love potatoes. And now that I'm on the Eastern Shore, everybody's turned me into a crab person, so this is going to be fantastic. Oh, my goodness. I love the combination of the salmon with the potato. A little crunch in there. Every piece of this plate comes from scratch. It's work, but it's worth it. Why we peel hundreds of potatoes a week, we do. It's a big difference in, in flavor. It really is. It really is. Even though the potatoes you get in the bigger bags, you know, vacuum packed or whatever, that's fresh potatoes, but there's still a difference of peeling those potatoes every week. Now, you might think fine dining and fancy vibes go hand in hand. Not here. This cafe is casual. We do get calls and they're like, you know, you know, we've read a lot about you. And we've heard a lot about you. And, you know, what's the attire? And we kind of, we could tell they're nervous and we lighten it up. You know, as long as you wear clothes, we're happy. <laughs> but we tell them it's casual, you know. And, but, and you'll get people that'll come in here in a suit and tie because they're they just it's that fancy night out for them for dinner or they just came from a business meeting but it's it's the beach the walls are adorned with works by local artists for sale if desired staff take exceptional care of each table folks can also elevate their experience by dining in the wine room that wine room books weeks weeks in advance or enjoy the ambiance of this outdoor patio. That's a new development that came about because of the pandemic. The um, maple trees outside, they're over 150 years old and we wrap them in lights. So they're lit up at night, the outdoor lights. We have a little lounge area with the couches and two fire pits. They're honored to host celebrity guests. We would love to say, oh, selfie, you know. <laughs> You know, or but everybody makes, they don't make a big deal about it. They don't ask for an autograph. We don't ask for a picture. And they, they appreciate that. They really do. But equally excited to be a part of special or ordinary occasions for Ocean View residents and others. It's a treat to them, you know, um, and they just love and they keep coming back. Now, this place is reservations only, and they're open Wednesday through Saturday year-round, so you can just call to make yours during the break. We'll be right back. You're watching Delmarva Life's small town series, Ocean View, and obviously, Leah and I had to make our way back to the John West Park here to show off our uh, 
Seesaw skills? Our balancing act? Yes! <laughs> We've been having fun in Ocean View all day long. So, Jimmy and Lisa, have we convinced you yet? Uh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Well, you know what we gotta do now? Let's go. Let's go ahead, oh. head to Ocean View. You've been to Ocean View, right? I've been there, yeah. But I didn't know it had so much to offer. Listen, I'll tell you what. These ladies found stuff that I didn't know was available and, well, you yeah. know what? It was a great show. But I think I'm really going to enjoy what happens now. I just, I just think either way, it's going to be a good time, just based I, on everything they just showed us. No, who knew all those things about Ocean View? Good stuff. Yeah, good stuff. yeah. Oh, by the way, uh, the crew at the uh, in the newsplex here are ready for the WBOC News at six. We're going to turn it over to them here in just a little bit. Yeah, and we also want to remind you that if you want to see the show again, you can tomorrow morning, 8 a.m. on our sister station, Fox 21. Want to drive? Oh yeah, all absolutely. Right. You better wear your seatbelt. Ocean uh, View, right. here we come. <laughs> We'll awesome. be there in no time if I'm driving. No one ever told me I was going to get chauffeured working with Lisa Bryant doing Del Marble. That's just the greatest Yeah, thing. I don't think I've ever driven you anywhere before. I don't think I have either. Right. Didn't your face used to be on the side of this van? Oh, yeah. Ready? I'm ready. Hang on.